In this video, we'll talk about when to run the event. Now, while running an event, there are some crucial factors that are sometimes lost while delivering an event. It is common sense that a summer event will fail if it is organized in early winters. Now, let's consider the factors that could affect your event. These are some crucial factors that you need to consider while your event planning day, date, weather, clashes with other events, time, event type, target audience. Let's talk about the first factor, day. When you plan your event, you will select a day when you think your audience can be available. And that day should be obviously when they are free, like your weekend. Okay, for example, you are organizing a concert and you want a lot of audience that would attend your event. Now, the suitable days that you are going to select is that when they are going to be free and those days are weekends or maybe other holidays where you think that uh, they are available and uh, these are the days that you're going to select for your event. Similarly, a work-related event such as a business meeting or a conference will probably attract a better audience if it is run on a weekday. You need to plan your day according to the availability of your audience. Let's go for the another factor that is date. The date is quite significant as well. Now, for example, you have selected a date for your event and that date clashes with some sporting event. Well, let's say that a wicked final cup is going to be on the same date as you decided your event date on. So what do you think? The audience will be attending your event. Obviously, they are never going to miss the final cup for the cricket. So, any event, for example, as in cricket cup final match or any other significant event, will not attract as many visitors as it could on any other day. Now, another consideration is the weather. The day and the date you selected is perfect, but you forgot to check the weather. Before planning your event, I would advise you to check for the weather. There are a lot of uh, good websites that uh, forecast for 10 days, 15 days or almost 3 months. While planning your event, do check for the weather condition. I have experience with this uh, problem while I was organizing my event. I, I did not check the weather and there was, a, there was a rain. Not heavy rain but there was a fortunately that I had a backup plan and I saved the event. So if you are going to go for the event day, for example, if you had a commitment with a client and you have to organize anyhow, do have a backup plan and uh, check for the weather condition whenever you are planning the event. Your fourth factor is clashes with other events. Now, this consideration is uh, often ignored as most events are held during good weather and that is by default uh, called as event season and many event organizers aim to organize their event in that weather. Now, the problem here is that event organizers often fail to take into account that there are other event organizers also arranging an event on the same holiday on the same date as yours. And I have seen many events fail because there are simply too many other events at the same time or uh, that there is one major event running in competition and visitors fail to appear. So what you can do is during your research or while you are planning your event, you need to go to Facebook and search for other events that are also going to take place on the same date as yours. You're going to look for three things, location, type of the event, and size. And according to that information, you can decide when to run your event. Research is very valuable and if your research is good, I'm, I'm sure that your event is going to be successful. The fifth factor is time. The time you expect to open and close the event is very important. You should know the size and type of the event and um, according to that you, you should also manage to tell your stall holders or exhibitors to arrange their display within time and also make sure that people coming from the longer distance uh, do have uh, a public transport on time on the site. Start your event at early stage 
you make a timeline to always make sure that you are on time and starting it early will give you time to close your event early and that will also give you a chance to wind up things coming over to the sixth point and that is your event type knowing what event you want to organize and having the appropriate expertise will be a huge benefit to you in planning and organizing it and if you do not have an appropriate skills or knowledge related to the type of event find those people who do and stay connected with them but make sure that your proposed arrangements are suitable for the event being proposed coming over to our last factor that is target audience now your target audience depend on other six factors if you are going to consider these six factors i mean day date whether clashes with other events time and event type i'm sure that your target audience will be covered these are some crucial factors that you need to include while planning your event and I guarantee you if they are planned carefully you will have a successful event. If you like this video please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel.